Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys the 5 best sets to do in Madden 19 that can get you coins and also clear your item miner if you happen to have a lot of golds, a lot of silvers, elite stuff like that. This will definitely help you out. Hope this video does help you guys out and with that being said, let's hop into the first set. Now the first set is a pretty basic one, you guys might know about this one, but it's a very simple way and a pretty easy way to actually make some coins if you get a little bit lucky. So all this set does is it takes two low silvers and you get one high silver player. Now you're not necessarily doing this to get the high silver, you can if you need some high silvers to go ahead and complete some sets, but you're mostly doing this to try and get power ups, it is under the exchange and then you have to go into players and you guys can see that it is going to be right here, the low silver to high silver exchange. Now of course you get a bunch of power ups, you can either one stock up on these players and just hold on to the power ups until they get new upgrades, or you can go ahead and sell the players whichever power up you get now it's not guaranteed every single time you're gonna get a power up card but this is a very simple way to go ahead and get rid of some of your silvers if you have a couple hundred silvers in your item minder you're not really sure what to do with it this is definitely a pretty easy way and it can be a pretty good way of making coins and of course now that i'm doing the set we're not gonna pull any freaking power ups but if you get yourself like a tyree kill uh, a latent vanderesh any of the new ones usually power ups they're going on average like three to 5,000 coins, depending on who you get. But if you get some really good power-up cards, of course, they'll be going for a lot. As for some reason, we cannot see the pull power-up, but I promise you guys, you can, in fact, pull a power-up out of this set. Final pack. Can we get a power-up? We don't. But you guys get the point. Now, if you guys are looking for a little bit better way to go ahead and clear your item binder, as well as make some coins, go ahead, do as many silver tokens as you guys possibly can. Of course, silver tokens take six. 66 to 69 and then 6 62 to 65 overall players go ahead and complete that set and then you want to do is go into the token rewards and you can go over to the offensive playbook i feel like the offensive playbook is a little bit better than the defensive one uh, but what you guys want to do is go into the offensive playbook and i'll do this set real quick to show you so first off this is a very easy way if you guys want to go ahead and maybe just mess around try some new playbooks if you want to but of course this is a very easy way to make some coins now the best playbooks that i have seen the ones that go for the most seem to be either like the patriots the panthers around there those two are usually some pretty good ones they usually sell for about six to seven thousand coins per pop i was taking the patriots offense yesterday I did this at like five six times i think and i sold the patriots offense for six thousand coins every single time now right now at this very moment we're gonna see how much they're going for uh but playbooks usually kind of expensive so let's take a look and see exactly which playbooks are the best ones currently of course you can always go ahead check out the auction block see which ones are going for the most at the time you're going to go ahead and do this uh it looks like the cowboys offense right now is going for about 5900 coins that's pretty solid of course all this takes is a bunch of silver cards so you can clear out your item miner very very simply uh take a look at the patriots right now the cheapest up is 6700 coins we also have the panthers which is 6600 now i know you guys can go ahead and probably sell your silver cards each for maybe five six hundred coins depending on what overall they are but you can only list up 20 items in the auction like at a time so this is a much easier method of doing it to get it done a lot quicker yes if you sold every single silver card individually you might make like an extra 500 a thousand coins every single time but that's going to take a long time because <laughs> you can only put up 20 cards in the auction block at one time. Putting up 20 playbooks for one hour or eight hours, you're not guaranteed every single one of them will sell. But more than likely, a majority of them will sell and you might have to relist a couple of them. But it's a lot easier doing this way than having to individually post up silver cards one by one by one by one. That takes forever this next set honestly has been kind of glitchy lately and i wouldn't usually put this in here but lately for me it's been really good if you guys haven't seen my video i uploaded a video i think it was last saturday uh doing these i think i pulled like over two million coins worth of cards out of 10 packs i believe so i made double my coins i literally doubled my coins in this set now it doesn't really seem like it's that good because you can get version four and version five out of my pack opening though I think I only pulled like two bad cards. Besides that, either made coins or broke even off every single pull. And this set usually costs about 100,000 coins in the weekend to do. 
as of right now, you can actually go ahead and get these cards for slightly cheaper because people don't really realize to do this set right now. They wait until like Saturday to do it. You can literally get the cards for like 18,000 coins a pop, but on average, it does cost about 100,000 coins and it's actually, some people say it's more profitable to do during the week because there's not a lot of high legends being pulled uh, during the week as much as there are on the weekends. And I'm also going to show you guys exactly what players you could potentially pull out of this. Now, as of right now, the two best possible pulls you could get out of this pack would be Jerry Rice and Ray Lewis. There also was a 93 overall Ronnie Lott and I believe Shannon Sharp. So all four of these cards go for about 200,000 coins. And also, guys, keep in mind, every single week, new legends get put in. So that means more players you could potentially pull to this pack, version 4 and version 5. So it kind of adds to the value a little bit because obviously every single week we get new higher overall legends. You're more than likely going to be able to make profit off of any new legend that comes in the game. So every week this set just gets slightly better. Of course, the lower overall guys do continue to trend down. So I think like the worst possible pull you can get out of this pack would be like 40,000 coins. So there is a potential that you lose coins on this pack. But there's also a pretty big potential that you double your coins or potentially make even more depending on uh, what legends come into the game and what day you guys decide to do this pack on. But there's a lot of cards to go for like 150 plus and of course there are some to go for under 100,000 coins so just keep that in mind when you're doing this pack it's a very high risk high reward pack and next up is gonna be football outsiders now it's not gonna be the december because to be honest with you guys the december one is not that great anymore uh just because of the fact that you actually need like extra elite tokens going to do you need four silver four gold and one elite to me i would much rather do the november one because it only takes one elite, two gold, and two silver tokens to go ahead and complete it. I'm going to show you guys exactly what players you can get. And remember, this set's going to be really good if you have a bunch of gold players, if you have a bunch of silver players to go ahead and do to clear your item minder. And then, of course, the elite token. If you do it the right way, you can either use legends to power up with training and go ahead and complete the elite tokens. We have a video on going over how to do that if you have no idea how to do that. And the same thing, you can do that with Snow Beast instead. So I'm going to show you guys what players you could possibly pull to this. But let's say you have the gold and you have the silver. If you're doing just an elite token... Elite tokens right now cost about maybe like 40,000 coins worth of training to do. It's not that expensive to go ahead and get an elite token. So this set maybe costs 40k. If you want to add the price of the gold tokens as well, you can say they're like 10, 15k each. This pack costs about 60,000 coins around there without the silvers. So as of right now, the best possible pull you guys can get out of this pack is going to be Justin Tucker because this is going to be the November one because I actually kind of prefer the November over the December. Now you guys can see right here, Justin Tucker is going for 280k. If you were to do the December standout, if you have golds and silvers, whatever, you can go ahead and get Daniel Carlson, Andy Lee. That's cool. Uh, also, you can get Max Unger. He is also the December one. Uh, October Jason Myers, but for the November one, we do have Tress Way, who is 200,000 coins. So there's a lot of people you can pull to this. For the November one, of course, Leighton Vanderus just got a power up, so his card is actually rising in price. He's at 138k. Chris Jones is also 140,000 coins. Baker Mayfield is 130,000 coins. There's a lot of potential value out of this pack. Now, of course, you can get some players that are not going to net you the biggest profit here. And yes, you can lose coins. Any set in the game, you can lose coins on or make coins. But in terms of getting rid of your gold tokens, your silver tokens, and of course, just making an elite, this is one of the most profitable, se profitable uh, sets in the game. If you happen to just get slightly lucky, and even you don't have to get super lucky to get a pull to even break even or to make some coins on the set. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of pack openings on this set. This is under the team of the year. It is the 89 plus overall team of the week player with tokens. Now, I as well have a video up opening up 10 of these packs, and I'm probably going to do a video with, for you guys tomorrow opening five of them and five legend upgrade packs as well. But this pack is one of the most profitable in the game. Now, of course, it does take a lot of tokens. So, again, this is for if you're trying to clear your item minder. If you have all these gold tokens, why not do this set? And then an elite token, like I said before, training wise, 40, maybe 50k. So you're looking at about 100,000 coins worth of elite tokens. And you could just sell the gold players, but like I said, that takes forever. And there's a lot, a lot of value to be made out of this pack. So the worst possible pull right now is currently going for 140k, and that's Dak Prescott. Also, James Conner is like 150k. So those are like the two worst pulls, and that would still make you profit. If you have all the gold tokens and just doing the elite tokens. Now I'm going to show you guys all of the pulls you could possibly get out of this and how many coins you could really make. So as you guys can see, the best possible pull you guys could get would be 
Zach Ertz. He's going for 350k. You can also pull Demarcus Lawrence, who's 336k. Anthony Barr is about 300k. T.Y. Hilton, Adrian Amos, uh, Malcolm Jenkins, Derek Henry, Calvin Ridley, Jimmy Smith, Darius Leonard. All of these players on this list, you guys can see you could pull. Now, of course, James White, and there is some other Team League players, but the worst one right now is like 140,000 coins. So the potential in this pack is huge. Basically, every single pull, if you have the gold tokens, is going to net you profit, and you could potentially make about 350k off of spending maybe 100,000 coins worth of training on elite tokens. This set is by far the best set in the game. Well, with all that being said, I hope this video did help you guys out and give you somewhere to go ahead and throw your silver tokens into your gold tokens, your elite tokens, and make yourself some coins. If you guys went ahead and did any of these packs, let me know down below what your best pull was. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.